guys, Aphrodite Jewel here, and today we are starting a new series, playing Witchwood. Uh, I don't know anything about this game, so we're just gonna learn and discover as we go. So, you know, of course, I have to go to the settings and see if everything's okay. I'm going to turn the music down to 50%. And the rest of that should be good in the game. Uh, I guess that's okay. I don't know what any of that means right now. Resolution quality high. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, controls. Wazda. All of that stuff. We'll just, we'll just learn that as we go. I see I can play this with the controller too, so I might try that at some point feedback oh no I don't want to do actual feedback okay let's start a new game once upon a time there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house she spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair on this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by an odd little noise. Bah! Who's there? Get up. Oh, this is pretty. Click or use F to interrupt. Oh! You devil! How dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep? Blah! Shoo shoo! Get out of my house, you mindless beast! You're making a mess. With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. Oh, out it goes. Why did this place get so cluttered? I could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first! My old grimoire must be around here somewhere. New chapter. First things first. Okay, um, oh, there it is. Right here in the corner. Aha, here it is. Hmm, it's lighter than I recall. Your grimoire contains all of your craftable recipes. You can open it at any time by pressing H. Okay. Recipe learned, mending poultice. Open my grimoire, H. Ooh. Mending poultice, a speckled herbal paste that heals aches and pains, heals depleted hearts. Ingredients, forest herb and hag shroom. So we get those in the forest and the mushrooms in the swamp, which I think we, we are in the swamp. Oh, we can see a map of where we are, that's so fun. Okay, and there's our quest. All my recipes are missing. That damnable creature has chewed up all the pages of my book. Where's my belt? I'll need to carry my things if I'm, if I'm to go confront the beast. Must have left it in that trunk over there. Find your braided belt in the chest. Where is the chest? Oh, we have ingredients in here. In the chest. I'm blind. There it is. Okay. Braided belt. Yep. Oh, this M M P I M I M I nut. Its thorny husk has stimulating properties, whether ground and consumed or simply stepped on. Really twine. Tough plant fibers, roughly braided into a thin rope. Seeker vine. Even in the least likely of places, this tenacious ivy always finds a way. We want this. And we added it to our grimoire. Oof. My poor back. How long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head outside. At least I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. 
collect ingredients to craft a mini poultice. So we need two of these. That's one. And here's the other one over here. And then we need one of those. Yes. Craft a mini pol poultice with your grimoire. Okay. Craft. Oh, oh I have to hold it. That's so cool. Ah! It had a pentagram and everything. That is so nice. Alright, use the mini poultice to heal. So right click. Okay. Go outside. I guess we go this way. Go outside. Yes, we do. To the outside. You step outside into the humid marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. Ouch! Close your eyes for a week and the next thing you know, the whole yard has gone to the weeds. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear braying through the dense bramble. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? He could at least put those gnashers to good use on this lawn. Open your map to get a better look at your surroundings. Tab. Okay. Yeah, that's a whole lot of surroundings. Uh, ooh. Find the goat in your yard. It is spooky out here. Is that hide? Is that hide? Um. There is a chest out here. Can I get this? I can get that. I don't think I'm supposed to get that yet. I can't go this way yet. I... Am I blind? I don't see the goat. Maybe it's up towards this way. Yep, there it is. Come here, you goat. Bah! Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Bah! Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. The goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. Oh. Okay. Ah, yes. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? Apologies. It's been so long since I've used the mortal vessel. Yuck. There's dirt in his mouth. Puh, puh. You can talk? Of course I can talk. Has your mind become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? You wound me, madam. It's good to see you up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you've ever awakened, though... I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. Down there. The goat nods its head towards the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. And just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it will come back to you. Open your witch's eye to inspect objects and creatures and discover their weaknesses. This right here? Chief. Okay, stone pillar. An unusually large standing stone wrapped with enchanted engravings. Weaknesses unveiling powder. Unveiling powder is a sprinkling a sprinkling of the dust will reveal hidden mysteries. Okay. So Hag Shroom. Hag Shroom. The goat. I'll help you out, trust me. Okay. Recipe learned from unveiling powder. Don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lying below the surface. Ah, I can see it now. There are shallow runes etched onto the surface of the stone. But they are too faint for me to read. A powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as a result of a vessel possession. By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes to crafting your grimoire. Cool. Craft an unveiling powder. 
so I need a hag shroom, a seeker vine, two seeker vine, and a empire nut. We have those in the house. But actually, we have everything out here too. I don't know about two seeker vines though. Oh yeah, we have them. Seeker vine, seeker vine, and imp eye nuts. I might have to go inside for that. What is this? Some shears cut these cleanly. Okay, yeah, I have to go inside. Get the last ingredient. I like this so far. This is different. We're gonna go in the chest. We're gonna get one of the. Oh well, we got both of those. All right, let's go to Grimoire, Unveiling Powder, Crafted. Okay. I'm gonna put this, well no, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. In case we need it. All right, let's go back to the stone pillar and use the Unveiling Powder on it. You smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. A cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and envelops the entrance in his aura. You squint, attempting to discern the meaning of the letters. They appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet. What gibberish is this? It looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Hmm. Must be written in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I. I cannot see. Unbelievable! What help are you then? I didn't come here to help, I came to collect! Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? Fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. Alright, let's go find the shears. Uh, you know, would it be in this chest? Is it in here? Yeah. Okay. Use your shears on the goat. Come here, bud. <laughs> with much protesting and a nicked ear, with much protesting and a nicked ear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, much better. Oh my, were you always as grotesque or is my memory failing me as well? Watch your tongue. I'll give it a good snip too. Now can you read the runes or not? Hmm, yes. <clears throat> A space beneath, she sleeps alone. Tokens given up to the unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone. Braziers burn and await the crown. Crown? Who is it calling a crown? And what are these tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look at the at those braziers. Oh, at these? Ash caked brazier. The remnants of its last burn are barely discernible for the time since. Weaknesses of blue feather. Little little remains in this browser, but an undeniably acrid smell. Frog hair for that one. Some past contents have left the hard residue within. Frog slime. The inside catches the light just enough to suggest some past iridescence. Shiny stone. Dog hair, bird feather, frog slime, and a shiny stone? I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep. I don't think so, but feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. However, there's a whole world outside this little swamp, you know. See that gateway over there? The one with the lovely green flame? The goat motions to the far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods would do these creaky joints some good. 
Too much time indoors is bad for the humans. Okay. So we need dog hair. I've already forgotten. We need dog hair, blue feather, a shimmering stone, and frog slime. Yeah. That's about right. Thick, tangled vines have overgrown the ruined entrance. Something sharper than your fingernails will be needed to get through. I have shears. Hey. Snipping and tearing, your shears make short work of the bramble. There we go. Into the darkness. That's scary. Can we get those? Oh, that makes rope. Reedy twine. Oh. That's how we get reedy twine. Oh, they remind us of the side here. Whoa, look at that. Space between. You cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step onto a cold stone daze? Time seems to flow backwards. Or maybe it speeds forwards? An oppressive, star-filled void stretches as far as you can see, though there is no wind or sound in this void. A warm fall breeze and the chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway. Back home. Okay. Interesting. Um, what is this? A heart seed. The heck is a heart seed? When thrown sharply against the ground, this seed will spirit you back to cozy comforts. Oh, this takes us home. So we need a imp eye and a flower petal that's that's a quick way to get home i like that okay there that doorway is activated the rest of this isn't activated though so i guess that's where we need to go yeah that's where we need to go to the forest oh my god i love this game is it just me or does it remind you guys of um, I lost my train of thought. Of Dungeons and Dragons. There we go. Does it remind you guys of Dungeons and Dragons a little bit? Kind of like the role playing element of it? That's what it reminds me of. Okay, we need blue feathers. Ooh, we got wood. A twig. We need frog slime. Let's look at our map. That's the decay. Wings on the breeze. So we need to go th that way. So we need to go this way. Yup. Bird watcher. The woman spins around on her heels so quickly she nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah! You startled me! Can you see can't you see I'm busy with my scientific research? Research? What is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why? The famed indigo tufted forest lark. You're said to be native to this forest and this forest only. Have you seen one perchance? You glance upwards at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. I have it. Sorry. A shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. She points at a nearby woodland critter, stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few moments watching its behavior and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Observation is key. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The blue bird glances vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. Wow. Okay. Rotting log. Logger's hatchet. A twig, twig. A bird. Ah. We need a snap trap. That up there. Ash piles. Anything else nearby? 
a squirrel, forest herb. I don't think we need that. Oh, that's where we came from. Okay. We can rework snap trap. Okay. Reagents. A widget woven. Good, a good friend to start building around. So I need, I just need one of these. Okay. And then we made one. All right. Um. Okay. Where was that bird? Was it there? So. Me too. Oh, okay. <sighs> we got something. What do we get? Rodent lard. Oh, we wait. Oh, we caught the squirrel. Dang it. I didn't want the squirrel. Oh no, we don't have any more of that. Let me go find that. Uh, that's a character. Uh, can I not... Okay, I was about to say, can I not go that way? Okay. Let's, uh, yep, make mm. another one of these. Okay. Where is... Where's right there? Okay. Set the trap right there. And we wait. Oh, there we go. I'm so sorry. Okay, now we need dog hair. Oh, there's a dog up there. A shiny stone frog slime. I'm gonna get some more of this ink by over here though. So I believe we're going to need it. Get okay, forest herb as well, just in case. Killed man? A rugged, hardy looking man. Guard dog. Weaknesses, shears, soporific sopor morsel. Foul tempered, not to anything that comes too close. Ash pile. Walker, box restoring things. Empty jars. Birds. Walker, ash pile, ash pile. Okay. Soporific morsel. Okay, let us. So we need a soporific potion. This draught will send whoever drinks into a deep sleep. However, it tastes horrible, so makes it with something delicious. We need a leaf cap, a jar of water, empty jar. Okay. Okay, okay. So we need, we need to go find a well. No, and here's a well. Look at that. Aw oh, man. Jeez, I don't know about this. You tap the man's shoulder and he nearly tumbles headfirst into the well. Ah! What's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. Then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge like some wobbly stork. What's so interesting down this well anyways? Well, my grandpappy used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasure down there. Just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trowel and thought I'd give it a go. But the rope's out and it looks awful dark and damp. I get goosebumps just thinking about all the ghoulies that might be lurking down there in the shadows. 
ever considered that those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up here in the sunlight? Uh, no, not really. Not sure if that makes me feel any better about them, actually. Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me after all. Here. Why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it. You can go down into the well and see those ghoulies yourself. He offers you a small trowel. It looks like it's never been used. I'll take it. This old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it, but the rope has long since rotted away. A cool breeze wafts up from the darkness. Ready twine! You toss a length of strong homemade rope down into the darkness. It seems like it should support you without much fuss. Cool. Into the well. Ooh. Go coin. Oopies candy. Oopies candy. What is this? The clay is packed. I'll need a trowel. Okay. Oopies candy. What is this? Clay. Empty jar. I can collect some water here with the jar. Okay. Can we make the jar yet? What is that? Campfire ember. We need we need that. <laughs> oh, that's the Oh, a net. Catching net. Where did we get a net from? Can we, wait, can we make a net? I'm catching that. I guess not. How deep does this go? Shiny stone! There we go. There's a chest in here. Locked. Dang it. Oopies candy. What is that? Shiny stone. There is a creature right there. Darkened nook. A cozy burrow for a creature who prefers to be left alone. Yeah. I would also like to be left alone, so please leave me alone. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go find campfire embers. Which I think the guy, the killman, I think he had a fire going, if I'm not mistaken. Uh. I think. I could be wrong. Or oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, you have a campfire. Hi! Hey, you there! Give me a hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. These stunts aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son was supposed to help me, but he's wandering off again. Probably to go bother frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. Anyway, I need help clearing away some of these dead logs. It's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Just be careful of the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make you powerful sleepy if you breathe in the spores. As much as I do love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense! Anyone can experience the joys of splitting a fine stump. Here, my boy won't be missing this hatchet. Nice, okay. I want what's in here. Give me that. Yes. Okay. Now, make the empty jar. Then we go down into the well and we get water from the little spring in the wall. Okay. 
but we can scroll through okay yep use that on there we got a jar of water okay now craft uh we need to craft this first oh we need that Oh, we gotta, okay, okay, okay. So we gotta break the stumps, get that mushroom out of it, and then we craft that. Uh. Okay, okay. This, uh, what did we cut? We cut this? Yeah, I got a hatchet. Okay, there it is. I need two of them. I need two. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, we're good. Alright, now let's craft this. Uh huh, uh huh. Now we can craft this. Okay. Now let's go see that pupper. So we can get his hair. I wonder if the killman is going to give us a net. Looking too close. Okay. Come on, you see it. You see it, bud. Come get it. No? Come get it. Yeah, there you go, bud. Yep, you saw it. All right. Now we need the frog slime. That's me to you. Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery. I'm afraid I just fired the kilns up, so they'll be a while still. Pottery? Lie. I was just admiring the fine canine over there. Oh. May I give her a pet? Oh, you can try, but I wouldn't if you value your fingers. She's a touch bitey today. Oh, okay. I was supposed to talk to you first. Uh, but I can come over here. What you got? Give me all this stuff. My bad. Ash pal. Oh. I need them into jars too. Do that. Do this. Thank you. Is there anything else over here? A soot sprite? Oh. A soot sprite. Hey, just like uh, Studio Ghibli. Now, how do we? How do we get a? How do we get a net? A simple trap is what I need. No. Yeah. We're not going into the <laughs> well again. Let's go up this way. What is this? I can't. Okay. It's locked, I guess. I guess we will go down this way. Unless you got more tools to give me, sir. Oh, oh, it's a flower petal. Flower petal, okay. Can I speak to you? Too quick for him. Oh, I can catch you. You don't say. There's another path down here. Was I not done in here? Oh, yeah, I'm not done in there because I need the, uh... I need the net to catch the frog. 
I don't know where else to go. <laughs> oh, there's a path over here. Okay. All these ingredients. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, oh no, that's okay. We just make one big circle. I don't know where to go. Also, I don't know if this has auto save or not. So, aha! There we go. Hi. Oi, lady! What's with that green stinking pot on your head? I would ask the same about all those stinking frogs in your trousers. Aw, you're just jealous. The boy fumbles between trying to wrangle all his frogs and swiping ineffectually at wayward flies with a shoddy looking bug net. Hey, judging, juggling a little more than you can handle, eh? What exactly are you hop hoping to accomplish flailing about like that? Are you daft? We frogs are hungry. I gotta catch some of these fireflies to feed them. He takes another wild swing, Mrs. Turkey entirely. Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? That will let you swing that net properly. Oh, I see how it is. You're after me precious prizes. Well, how about I give you the net and catch me some fireflies? Maybe I'll think about trading you one of my froggies. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> All right, into the well we go. I think that was the auto save down there at the bottom. Come here, you frog. Where did it go? I have to dig for it again since I left the area. Yep. There we go. Frog slime, blue feathers, shiny stone, and dog hair. That's all I need for those browsers. I should head back home now. Can I use this? Turn home. Yeah. Time to go home. Yeah. Okay. I'm back. All right, so. Okay, so blue feather. Dog hair. The dog hair takes a moment to fall from your fingers, fluttering down, fluttering down into the basin one by one. The fur bristles into foul-smelling coils before erupting into a cold green flame. This one was frog slime and the shiny stone. Frog slime. You gently squeeze the globs of wet slime from your satchel into the basin. The mucus bubbles and pops before cold flames reduce to a fine, odorless ash. You drop the stone into the basin with a resounding chiming sound. Fractures trace across the pebble before it cracks open, and a cold green light swallows it within its flames. The emerald flames of the braziers play strange shadows across the stone doorway. You watch as fingers of shadow crawl up the rock face and crack open the solid granite like stale bread. The stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down into the cold earth. After you, madam. Okay. Oh. Hey, we got an achievement. First things first. What's this? Oh. In K 
Encased inside a gilded crystal coffin lies the body of a young woman. Though she sleeps in an enchanted slumber, her ageless features express a deep sadness. Mm. The sound of cloven hooves echo against the marble floor as the goat comes to your side. Quite something, isn't she? Do you remember bringing her to me? I brought her to you? Why? Who is she? I haven't the faintest idea. All I know is you brought her lifeless form to my doorstep and begged me to save her soul. Save her from what? And why is she asleep? Why? From the twelve wicked souls whom you said wronged her in life. Villains who deceived her and cheated her and broke her spirit. And as we agreed, here she will sleep until our contract is fulfilled. Until you bring me those twelve wicked souls. What? I remember no such contract. Our pact is binding, regardless of what you do or do not remember. At the goat's words, you feel something hard and dark locked away in the depths of your heart. It speaks the truth. And just why should I do your bidding? It seems like a lot of bothersome trouble to me. What do I care about some sleeping beauty? Bring me the twelve souls release the sleeping maiden from her slumber. Our agreement will be fulfilled. Who knows? In time you may even remember why you brought her to me in the first place. Or you can simply return to the comfort of your little hovel where you will waste away until the weeds grow so thick and up that not even your shears will be able to cut you free. And your mind will stay as empty as that grimoire of yours. But it is a big decision to make so hastily. Why don't you sleep on it? A heavy weight fills your marrow. Your eyelids flutter, barely able to stay open. Well, what have you done to me? I, I can't stay awake. Oh boy, he drugged us. Good morning. I trust you've made up your mind. Will you collect the souls I've asked for? Or would you prefer to stay stuck in this festering swamp? Alright, alright. No need to get your horns in a twist. I'll do as you ask. You haven't given me much choice. Splendid! As it happens, I can already sense the first four souls we seek. Two are in the forest, another in the swamp, to the north, and the last in the fields to the south. Could you be more specific? Near a shapely stump? Perhaps inside a tree with a face? By an overgrown mushroom grove? What do I look like? A compass? Go out there and look for yourself. Chapter 2 the sleeping maiden all right guys that concludes this first episode my what a long one it was um i hope you guys are enjoying this i i'm enjoying this and i hope to keep playing this for you guys and keep the series going so i will see you guys next time bye